Jackson. That's why I have my Kermit the Frog tattoo. Growing up, I always watched Sesame Street and all things having to do with the Muppets. And I really admired Jim Henson because he took a dream that seemed kind of silly working with puppets. And I think he changed the world. Everything was really happy. And then I found out Jim Henson was autistic. He had Asperger's. And I have a daughter with Asperger's. So when that connection came around in my life, it was very significant. And that's why I decided to put it on my body. <laughs> my name is Kim Keenan. I've been teaching in Widefield for 20 years, and this is my 11th year at Widefield High School. I teach, there's art one, there's drawing and painting, there's freehand drawing, ceramics and sculpture, and advanced art. I had worked at the junior high for about nine years, and I knew I was ready for something new, something more challenging. When the spot opened up here, I came because I like Whitefield. One of my fortes is working with the students with special needs. They always have a home in my class, and I do a movie club a couple times a week, and just over the years, all those kids have always come to my classroom, so they feel very comfortable here. My favorite thing here is the diversity. I just love how everybody is here, and we all get along, and everybody loves each other. That just makes me really happy. And this is the real world. I feel like people are genuine, and, and I really love the teachers that I work with. A lot of kids have come back to me over the years, and I feel like what I give to kids more than anything is just happiness. Kids go through my class, and they love it, and they feel happy and comfortable. School's pretty stressful, and art's really good for us. So when kids come back to me over years, they always say, oh, I had so much fun in your class, and there's a specific project that they say they still have, and it's good feeling. I really love to read, and I love to cook, so I joke looking at my physical appearance, you can tell what I do on my own time. I love to cook, it's very creative, and I love to read because it always takes me on a journey somewhere. So those are my two favorite things, and then other than that, just being a mom to my kids. I love my kids more than anything in the world. My name is Jessica Butala, and I've been teaching for 11 years. My name is Raquel Gonzalez, and I've been teaching for 27 years. My name is Sarah Molino. This is my eighth year teaching. I teach Spanish 1 and Spanish 3. I teach English Language Learner Study Hall. I wanted to come down here because my kids were in this district. I was teaching in Harrison and I decided that it would be better for my kids and I to be on the same schedule. Honestly, it was the first place I got a job, but I'm glad I came. I came to Whitefield because I wanted to work with students who wanted the extra support, who needed the, the extra help, and it's a close-knit community down here. Here at Whitefield, I'm involved in a lot of different things, especially within like the team of 100, which is working on making things better within the district. I'm on the building leadership team, which also is working on different things for the school. I'm really involved with our PBIS team, and I really enjoy that because it's trying to get kids to have a better attitude about school and try to reward kids for the good things that they're doing, and I think that's important. Outside of teaching, I work with Ms. Fowler to do junior council, and I'm on the climate committee. I have been in junior council for, I think, five or six years now. This is my first year doing the climate committee. At Whitefield, I am involved in the student union. I work home volleyball matches. I also attend sporting events. I wanted to be a lot of different things when I was a kid, from an artist to a fashion designer to a police officer, but in the end it always came back to teaching. When I was a kid, it depended on the day. I wanted to be everything. Some days I wanted to be a doctor, other days I wanted to be a lawyer, and some days I just said, I'll figure it out later. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an airline flight attendant. <laughs> I used to, we used to play games that make believe that we were flight attendants at school on the playground. The foreign language department is special because, again, we have fun. We like to have a good time while we get stuff done. Over the last few years, our department has definitely grown together. We've become a lot more like close. We're friends. We hang out. We get along. I wish people would understand that foreign language is really useful and it's going to take their kids far in their goals, whether it's because they want to go to college or they want to travel. I like that there is such a sense of community down here. When things happen, this community rallies around people. The, the community supports everybody. They take care of everybody and they really work hard to meet the needs of the individuals in our community. But not just when bad things happen, when good things happen, they celebrate it down here. And there's that sense of belonging and you go places and you see people and you know people and it's not like if you lived up in town where that just doesn't happen. We're a pretty, pretty solid group so over the last few years we've all, I mean, just growing with the changes of education and, and with the changes that we're seeing in foreign language. But I think everybody's aware that we're, we're all working really hard for them. We want them to do well, we want them to succeed and I think more than anything, yeah, we, yes, we care about the learning but we care about the students too and the individual. Now, 
all of my teachers are working really hard to do the honors programs and to do the AP programs and to do the dual credit and it's just really cool to see the growth that we have. I like to see them have success here but also have success in the real world because ultimately that's what we're getting and prepared for and if something that I do in here they remember that has nothing absolutely to do with Spanish but they remember later on then I've done my job. So my name is Maureen Richards. Everybody calls me Frau. Frau means Miss or Mrs. in German. I have been teaching for a total of six years, four of which have been here at Whitefield High School. I teach German and then I also teach web design. I really like the people here. For me personally, this is the type of community that I've grown up in and so I seem to work and fit really well with the community and really when I came in at the school I just seemed to blend in here which really fit well for me personally. So I do run German Club as well as German National Honor Society and we do lots of fun activities for our community. We go out and rake leaves during the fall time. We did Boo at the Zoo this year and we've done many other activities too that you can do outside as well as a grill fest. I love teaching. I like the aspect of seeing my students grow and get something that's difficult and for me building those relationships that I know that will last. The community itself is that really it's a family and I know everybody talks about that and everybody says that but really the students become part of the family, the staff members here really take care of each other, the principal and administration everybody's there just to help support and I think for me that right there that support and that community feeling is what brought me here. I think what makes the foreign language department special is that we as a group again are just like a family. We've actually bonded and become friends. We do things outside of class and that's our school and we definitely are there to help support each other 100% so I know if I ever need anything I know that they're always there to lean on whether that's advice for classroom management or advice for personal life they're always there I know the impact that I have on my students because they always come back so for me that's one of the biggest reasons I teach it's nice to know that when they come back you hear their story like how well they're doing and what they're planning on doing with the rest of their life or how much you've impacted them it just to me that's that's what they do is they come back and they'll tell me and I'm still somehow a part of their life even though they've left Whitefield High School I'm a third generation Whitefield graduate. I started in this district in preschool. So I went to school here and then after I graduated college, when the French teaching job opened up, it wasn't really a question for me. My name is Alexis Serena and I've been teaching for, this is my seventh year. I teach French 1 through AP. I coach JV soccer and I run the Renaissance program here at Whitefield and I do Power Club. I had a lot of really awesome teachers growing up and that really like did a lot for me and made me feel like cared for when maybe things weren't the best at home and so there was like a couple teachers here that I would think would be my idol because they made me want to be a teacher. Mrs. Walker and Miss Molina and Mr. Kelso. I think I always wanted to be a teacher. There was a really short time when I thought I wanted to be a doctor. I was always really good at science so I thought about that for a little bit but I knew I wanted to be a teacher I think always. I, almost all of us have been together the whole time I've been here. I think that over the last few years as a department gotten closer and I think that we've really become a very well-oiled machine. We just we work together really well. We know what each of us is kind of good at and what we need to do to, to take care of business and get things done so I think we've really just I guess come together a lot more. They form family orientated because we uh, help out throughout the whole place around you know for us keeping the place looking nice and neat for the students and for visitors. What we do is one of those unseen things, you know. Only a few people recognize it because they have done it before or know people who are doing it. My name is Reggie Sanders. I've been to Wildfield. This is my 24th year. Uh, I'm an alumni and, you know, come back to get a job and work. So it just let them know that, hey, we like what we're doing.